Hey there everyone, Daish here and welcome to another video in our JavaScript series. So let's get started and talk about some of the more fun stuff in JavaScript. So first and foremost, how can I write code in JavaScript and can execute that code? Now this alone thing has so much of the backlog from the history that a lot of people even forget that how code actually works, and especially in the case of JavaScript. In this video, we're gonna learn a whole lot about that and we are gonna talk about JavaScript engine. Before you write any code in JavaScript, it is actually very important that you know about JavaScript. But I know you are very excited to write your very first code. It's the fun thing, I'm not gonna ruin it. So I'm gonna be running the code first. And I'm gonna run it in variety of ways so that you understand how actually these engines work behind the scene. For writing the code, I will be using throughout the series VS Code. It's my new favorite thing and it's gaining a whole lot of popularity. There are a lot of themes that you can install. There are a lot of plugins and even you can write code to customize themes just like what I do and I like to do. You can do all of that, but even just writing the direct code onto this is so much fun. It does so much for you automatically. But even though if you are already a big fan of Sublime Text, I won't be standing a chance against you. Go ahead and use Sublime Text. The rest of the thing we're gonna talk later on. So let's come back first and we're gonna go ahead and create a folder on the desktop. And I have called this folder as JS Tube. I know, not very innovative, but I think that's a fun name to have. So in this one, I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this one as 01. Hello. Feel free to name it however you like, and that's what we got up here. Now let's go ahead and fire up the VS Code. Come on, VS Code. There we go. Let me go ahead and open this up. Now all you gotta do in this one is just drag and drop this oh hello inside the VS Code and there we go, all good and nice. I'm gonna expand this up and yes, my VS Code is a bit customized. I use a lot of themes and plugins and custom design stuff, so that's what I like. Now the classic way or 101 way of learning the JavaScript has been for years is creating two sets of file. The first file that we create is usually called as index.html. We're gonna talk a bit more about them later on. So let's go ahead and create that. If you're using same code editor as I am using, just go ahead and hit the exclamation sign and hit the tab key. This is coming up through an Emmet. Emmet has been a fantastic add-on on that and VS Code directly support them to write the shorthand code notation much more faster, especially boilerplate code. For example, I can just write H1 and hit the tab and it automatically fills me these H1 tags. But we are not here for the H1s. We are here for a JavaScript thing here. Let's go ahead and create another file and we are gonna create a new file again. We are gonna call this one as script.js. There we go. Right now, there is nothing inside this file and it's okay, 100% okay. We're gonna go in back into the HTML and you can go just at the very end of where the body is about to end and just start typing script. And we are gonna choose the script source here. Go ahead and hit enter and it says, hey, please load me a source of script, which is JavaScript in this case. I'm gonna call this that I have a script that I called as script.js. This is the one that I want. In some of the cases, it's gonna say that, hey, just go ahead and say in the current folder, dot slash means current folder, load a dot script.js. We're gonna talk a whole lot about these relative paths and stuff and how JavaScript treats them, but right now, this is all what we got. Go ahead and save this up. Now we got nothing so far, so at least let's just write a hello on the screen. We're gonna get that into the H1 and we're gonna just say hello, there we go, and save this. If I open this up, I go into this hello and I try to open up my index.html, it's gonna open this up into a web browser. So hello loads up, but can I see my JavaScript as well? No, not right now. So go ahead, right click on that and we are gonna click on inspect and we're gonna click on console. My console opens up on the right hand side, but yours might be on the bottom. It's okay, 100% okay. I'm gonna zoom this up. Now together, let's go ahead and write some of the very minimal basic code of JavaScript. All we're gonna say is simply console.log and then pair of parentheses. And inside that, we are gonna simply say hello. I'm gonna say my name, you need to say your name. Don't use my name, your name only. So go ahead and save that. As soon as you're gonna save, it's gonna add these semicolons. If not, just go ahead and do that. Now let's go back on this and we're gonna hit a reload. As soon as I reload, it says, hello Hitesh. This is a proof that we are able to load up our JavaScript code in this HTML. And this brings us to the very important question that is it the right way to run the JavaScript code? Yeah, absolutely, 100%, there is no problem in this way. 
But this is not the only way to ja run the JavaScript code and we need to understand why this is all happening and how can I run my code a bit more in the advanced way and actually a modern way. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to understand that JavaScript is just like C++ or Java or like Python or any other language. It needs a certain thing or a set of tool or software so that this JavaScript code can be converted into the machine understandable code. And that's the most foundation of running the JavaScript. And since the very history long, we have always seen that these browser comes up with the code or the compiler, loosely saying compiler here, JavaScript comes up with a compiler which can turn your JavaScript code into the executable code. Nobody bothered to discuss about that, hey, there is some compiler there which is running your code. Everybody thought that JavaScript could be run just in the browser because nobody knew how to run that. And that is why nobody talked about these JavaScript engines. But the fact is, these engines were already there in front of us, but nobody bothered to run the standalone JavaScript code. And some of these engines are V8 and SpiderMonkey, and there is no shortage of them. Now we know a whole lot of them. If I go on to the V8, it's a pretty simple website, v8.dev. You can see that they boast a whole lot about the things that they have to offer, uh, like the memory issues and a whole bunch of things. And these are available here. It also says that it's a high performance JavaScript web assembly engine written in C++, but can convert your JavaScript code into understandable or runnable code. Not only that, if we're gonna go on to SpiderMonkey, which is the Mozilla version of how they want to run the JavaScript code. And there is no shortage of these engines. These engines, just like you install some compilers for C++ to run the code, can be installed in your system and can run the code. So similar to this, there are so many of them are available now. Things like Node.js are such one implementation which can convert your standalone JavaScript code so that you don't have to always attach your JavaScript into HTML and then hit a reload every single time. I know that's painful, that's why we are not gonna do it. Now, apart from this, in the 2020 especially and moving forward in the years, we got a whole lot of choice. Deno, Node.js, and a bunch of others as well. But throughout this course, we are gonna be using Node. It's available for cross-platform, Windows, Mac, Linux. There is no issue. It has been in the market, very rock solid. So go ahead and download whichever the version suits for your machine. It can be 64-bit, 32-bit, whatever suits your machine, go ahead and download that, Mac installer or Windows installer. It's a pretty simple regular install. I think everybody can do that. Click, click, next, I agree. Okay, yes, I agree to install. So that's all what you gotta do. Once you've done that, you can fire up your terminal and Windows guys, please don't use command prompt much. I highly recommend to use either a git bash or something which is much more powerful than Windows shell, but Windows shell is also gonna work fine. All we gotta do is simply say node and space and dash V. As soon as it gives you any version, doesn't need to be exact my number, I'm pretty sure yours gonna be advanced. As soon as we get this number, that's all what we care about. This is all what we need. Now what I can do with this, once the node is installed, that means I have a compiler installed on my system and I can run that very basic code of JavaScript that I have here, which is console.log. And to give you a brief idea that I don't have to even have these index.html again and again, I'm gonna just press my control and tilde sign. Tilde is just below your escape key, by the way. So all I have to do here is, I can simply say that first and foremost, I'm gonna do a ls, that means, hey, list all of my files. If you're on a Windows, it's a dir command. Pretty basics, come on. So I can go ahead and say node, and then I can name the file script.js. As soon as I run this, this again runs my command. So this proves the point that yes, there is something, the engine which is converting my code, and I don't always need to attach my code with HTML so that my browser can execute. And again, you're gonna see that a whole lot of time in these ones that yes, uh, all of these Deno and Node.js, they use some or the other engines to convert your JavaScript. Okay, quite a lot of information in just one video. Okay, I know you got a little bit uh, long video here. I'm gonna try to keep the video short and fun so that you get a whole lot of knowledge, exciting one, and we enjoy that. And I'm pretty sure you have already hit the subscribe, so no need to say it again. That's it for this one, and uh, wait for the next one. It's gonna be much more fun. Let's go ahead and catch up in next one.